Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? When people are being an advocate for their own health and they're going through this process, and if they're anything like me, they'll find a tremendous amount of benefit in dealing with a functional health practitioner um, as opposed to traditional Western medicine, what are some of the things that they should be asking? What kind of labs, what kind of tests, what kind of questions, how can they prepare themselves to go mm -hmm. into this kind of conversation? Yeah, I think they need to be prepared to be really honest about how they feel. I think that people feel, I think um, modern medicine has asked us to boil things down very briefly because we um, have only 10 minutes with a doctor. And so we just have to be able to say, I have this symptom. Um, so first and foremost, when you sit down with any functional health practitioner, that they have enough time and space to really hear what you're feeling. Because oftentimes you need someone to listen to all the different things that are happening. And for, for the functional health practitioner to, be, to look at you and say, these are the dots that I see connecting. And, and this is what I see needs to happen. And then you want to make sure that they're going to run functional labs. So I, I think that there's great health coaches out there that, you know, just help people figure out how to exercise and eat well. And those are important aspects of what I do. But labs help you test and not guess, because oftentimes when we're really in the tank, so people that are coming with autoimmune diseases or they're in that, that realm of like someone's trying to diagnose them, but they haven't gotten a diagnosis um, and they just feel like crap all the time. It's super important to be able to test things to know exactly what we're going after. So sometimes people will say, look, I've tried every diet, I've exercised all these different, you know, programs, nothing's changing. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. So we've got to look at hormones. We've got to look at your minerals and we've got to look at the gut. Those are like the three absolute necessities. And then in functional medicine, there's all these other tests. There's like oat tests and different tests that look at, you know, blood serum and you can look at the thyroid and make sure the thyroid is functioning. So there's, you know, all the extras, but at the very basic, are they looking at your gut? Are they looking at your hormones? And are they looking at your minerals? Because those are the three key to even begin starting to have some physical healing. Um, and then are they willing to listen to you of what you want your process to be? Because not everybody is the same. Like we just talked about, the Enneagram really defines that. Not everybody is a type A, I'm going to do all these things perfectly and I want to list. Not everyone wants to just like run super hard. Some people need like more coaching than others do. Some people want to just have a hands-off approach and be given, you know, the roadmap. You need someone that's willing to listen to what you actually need as the, the person coming to them, as the person that's sick, um, so that it, you feel like you're in control. I think that that's an important aspect of it, that you feel like you have control.